Alright, what we have here is a question that's mostly about averages. Let's have a read through. Charlie is a car dealer. He has a record of his sales in the first four months of 2015, January, February, March and April. In this table, just to quickly talk you through, it says that uh, in, in January he sold 37 cars and made a total profit of £8,450. Uh, in March he sold 54 cars and made a profit of £10,410. Charlie knows that the total profit for the first four months of 2014 was £35,940. He wants to compare the mean profits for the first four months of both years. Charlie thinks that the mean profit from the first four months of 2015 here is £250 more than the mean profit in the first four months of 2014 here. Is Charlie correct? Show why you think this. Uh, for this question, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to write out over here a reminder that to work out the mean, you take the total, uh, in this case it will be the total profit, uh, but the total of whatever it is you're looking at, so the total age, the total whatever, the total profit here, and you divide that by how many things you're looking at, divided by, uh, I'm just going to put how many. Alright, so in this case, we're looking at profit over a number of months. So it's the total profit divided by how many months. OK, that's, that's, that's how we're going to work out our mean. So he knows the total profit for the first four months of 2014, which is this number. So to work out the mean, we can just divide that by four. So I'm going to go into my working out box, get the calculator out. So if his total Actually, sorry, I'm just going to go into the working out box, and the first thing I'm actually going to do is uh, set out my working nicely so it's easy to follow. So, n right now I'm looking at 2014, so I'll write 2014 in there. Uh, we're doing the total profit, which was £35,940, and to work out the mean, I'm doing the total profit divided by how many months we're looking at, and it's four months, the first four months of 2014. So, over those four, first four months, his mean profit was £8,985. Now let's look at his mean profit in the first four months of 2015, which is the harder bit. First we need to work out the total profit. So I'm going to add together the profit from each of the four months. So that's 8,450 plus 9,230 plus 10,410 plus 8,900. Good. So the total profit for 2015 over those first four months was £36,990. Now we're comparing the mean profits, so I need to work out the mean, which is the total profit, which I've just worked out, divided by how many months we're looking at. So it's, it's over four months again, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to take my total profit and divide it by four. That's £9,247.50. That's his mean profit for 2015. Now we're talking about money here, this is a profit, so to tidy things up a bit, first I'm going to put in my pound signs to make it a little easier to look at, and the second thing I'm going to change about this answer is I'm going to put a zero on it. If you're dealing with money, it's good practice to always make sure you have uh, two decimal places, uh, two numbers after that point, because this looks like at, uh, blah 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 pounds 50, which it is, whereas if you don't have that zero there, it looks like it could be confusing, you know, it could look like it says blah 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 pounds five, is that pounds five or pounds fifty? So you always you always have two decimal points. Good, so I've got the mean profit in 2014, pound sign, and the mean profit in the first four months of 2015. Now let's, let's just knit back to the question and see what we're actually being asked about. Charlie thinks that the mean profit in the first four months of 2015, this number, is 250 pounds more than the mean profit in the first four months of 2014. So in other words, is this number 250 pounds more than this number or not? Well, let's find out. If I take our bigger number and take away 250 pounds, that should give me something bigger than this number if he's right, or something smaller than this number if he's wrong. Okay, so now this number, well, why on earth is it put it there? Let's just delete that and come down here, copy out again. All right, so this number is what the profit in 2014 would be if it was £250 less than in 2015. And we can see that this number, £250 less than the 2015 profit, is bigger than the 2014 profit. Or another way to think about this, if I delete that, is to take my 
2014 profit, 8,985 8, pounds. Add on that 250 he's talking about. And this is what, 250 pounds more than the mean profit in the first four months of 2014 would be. Now, I know this is confusing because of uh, the wording that's being used, but he thinks that the mean profit in the first four months of 2015 uh, let me let me label this up a bit, maybe that'll help. The mean profit in the first four months of 2015, which is here, is £250 more than the mean profit in the first four months of 2014. Well, this number is £250 more, and he's saying he thinks the profit is more than £250 more. And if we look at these two numbers, we can see that he's actually right, because the profit he made in 2015 was two hundred and fifty pounds more? It was sorry. It was more than two hundred and fifty pounds more than the profit from twenty fourteen. So is Charlie correct? Yes, he is. Oops. So again, that was a little. That's. It's hard to uh, wrap your head around because of the language that's being used. But that that that's all you're working out. That's what you needed to do to get the five marks for this question.